Orthogonal drawing is one of the ways that we uh, can draw a three-dimensional object. And the way we do that is, so if we take this um, one for example, is what we're going to do is we're going to look at it, all of its viewing planes and draw them uh, with no distortion. So the best way to do this is imagine that we've got our object here, it is in green, and we're going to place it inside a fish tank. And what we're going to do is we're going to observe it from the different sides of that fish tank. So starting with the top, uh, it's going to end up looking like this. This is what we call the plan, which is no, not unlike the plan for a house. It's that bird's eye view showing you what you've got is what we refer to as the top. Uh, now looking at this uh, front on view, uh, we call the elevation because you know it shows us that height, that elevation, which we call the front. Uh, now the final side we'd be looking at here is known as the end elevation which you could refer to as the side. Technical terms are plan, elevation, and end elevation. So they're gonna end up looking like this on our paper. Now, if you have them in this arrangement with the plan on the top, the elevation underneath, and the end elevation on the right, this is what's known as third angle projection. If it were that we had it the reversed way around, this is known as first angle projection. But in Australia, the standard is third angle projection. So only draw it like this, and this is uh, part of the AS 1100 standards, which is the standards used for uh, technical drawing in Australia. Um, it is very important that you have uh, all of your lines and edges directly underneath or to the right of each other. Uh, final thing I want to mention about our drawings here is you can see this um, edge here. I've drawn it a slightly bit thinner than the rest of them. That's because on our three-dimensional object it represented this line here and you can see that those two faces are visible from this viewing plane so that means it gets a thinner line if I can't see two faces of an edge it gets a nice bold thick line now before we can actually draw from an isometric drawing we need to just quickly look at it an isometric drawing is drawn like this so that it's um, 90 degree angles are drawn at 30 30 and um, anything vertical is on the 90 in this case, all of the ones drawn on those angles, as I've highlighted here in red, those are true lengths. So we can actually measure those with a ruler and use those dimensions. However, if they're not on the 30, 30 or 90, uh, like the one here in green, those are a distorted length and we won't be able to measure those. So that should now be a, enough information for you to understand what an orthogonal drawing is in third angle projection. Um, and you should be able to now uh, think about going ahead and drawing.